Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Drupal 8 on your local host using MAMP. Now, this site is only going to be accessed from your own personal computer, and in the meantime, you want to develop on a local machine to then move to an actual production environment later. So, in this video, we're going to be installing Drupal 8 on OS X using MAMP. Let's get started right now. So to get started, we want to head to drupal.org and install the latest version of Drupal. Now at the time of recording this video, Drupal 8.0.2 was released, so we now have Drupal 8 as an available option. Let's just go ahead and come to download and extend at the top of the page where we can download the latest version of Drupal. Now there's a green button here, we can click download Drupal. Now that's going to take us to the individual project page. This is the type of page that you're going to find on any particular module within Drupal. So we have Core 7 or Core 8. Now since this video series is on Drupal 8, you're going to want to make sure you select Drupal Core 8. Now that once again is going to take you to another page where you can download different versions. We have a zipped version or you can have a tarred.gz version. Or you can even try a hosted Drupal demo. Now for this, we're going to be installing this on our local machine using MAMP on OS X. So uh, we're going to be selecting this tar.gz. Now keep in mind, simply by installing this on your local host, it's not going to be available to anyone on the internet. However, it is recommended that you develop your website locally and move those updates online rather than developing your website online itself. So here we have a folder, Drupal 8.02, and since we're using MAMP, which we have open right here, you'll want to make sure that you've downloaded MAMP. If not, you can head to MAMP's website, M-A-M-P, and download the free version of MAMP here. Now when you download this, what it gives you is basically an application folder. If we come down here, you'll see our application MAMP. If we enter this folder, you'll see an htdocs folder. Now inside of the htdocs folder may be some documents, but there shouldn't be anything. So now because there's some hidden files uh, in this Drupal folder that we want to make sure that we grab, by default OS X isn't going to show you hidden files. Let's actually just delete htdocs as a folder. There's nothing in there that you should need. Now let's drag Drupal 8 into your MAMP folder. And let's rename this folder to htdocs, like so. So now our htdocs folder should contain all of the Drupal installation files that we need. Let's head over to MAMP here where we can start our servers. So let's just go ahead and click Start Servers. And from here, that automatically opens up this page. Now let's go ahead and come to our installation. Now to do that, we just want to go to my website. So here we have this link, my website. It's going to link you to the localhost colon 8888. So I'm going to open that up in a new tab. And as you can see, you should be seeing your Drupal installation. If you aren't seeing this, that means that your folder isn't correctly named htdocs or it's not in the correct location, which is applications, map, and then htdocs. Inside of that, you should see uh, core, example, index.php, that sort of stuff. Okay, so now that we have this ready, let's go ahead and start our installation process. We're gonna choose English, and right off the bat, you're already gonna notice that the Drupal 8 installation looks a lot better than Drupal 7, and that's something that you might see repeated throughout the experience in Drupal 8. Let's go ahead and click Standard for Installation Profile. Here we have requirements. You can see that uh, we have our requirements, should be all good. There's this PHP op code caching. It says it's highly recommended for performance reasons. However, since this was just a quick install, we don't need to worry about that right now. Now it's saying that we can continue anyway, so let's click the continue button. Now it's asking for us for our database information. We need a database name, username, and password. Since we don't actually have this information, it doesn't exist quite yet, let's go ahead and come to back to our MAMP page here, and let's come to Tools, PHP, My Admin. From here, let's go ahead and create a new database. So we can select Databases, and let's add a new database here simply by just saying Drupal 8. So that's the name of this database. Let's click Create. And now under database configuration, we can just say Drupal 
eight. Now, if you're creating a database somewhere else, you wanna make sure you have a username and password. However, with MAMP here, MAMP simply just has root and root for the username and password. So we can simply just say, so we can just simply say root and then root. Now when we click save and continue, you should see that we should be able to proceed just fine. So now that we have correctly entered everything, I'm gonna get rid of this Chrome notification here. But as you can see, Drupal 8 is installing. And as long as everything goes all right, this installation progress bar should reach 100 and we should be able to hit the configure site options. Now that the installation is configured, we can select a name for our site. We'll just say level up and the site email address can be whatever email address you'd like. Now keep in mind your site will send you email so uh, make sure that this is an email that you're gonna want. Now for username I'll just have it something like admin password. I'm going to make a password. It's going to be weak. You should not have yours be weak. Mine is going to be uh, very weak just for the ease of these videos. You should want to make sure that your password follows all of the things that make a strong password that it it suggests here. Email address, default country, I'm going to put in United States. And for time zone, it looks like it's set up through continent here uh, in Denver, so I'll select Denver. Now we can check notifications automatically. Now we can set to check for updates automatically or receive email notifications. I wanna keep both of those checked, so I'll click save and continue. Now at this point, we should have a site once this completes. And just like that, We've been redirected to our page here. It's asking us if it wants to save our password in Chrome. I'm gonna say no, only because I have this password memorized. But as you can see, we have a welcome to level up and we have our first Drupal 8 site installed. Awesome. Now, as long as you got to this point, we'll continue talking about Drupal 8. If you'd like to see other methods of installation, I'll be covering those in other videos and you can always come back to the next video where we start to talk about the admin, the front end, and the back end interface of Drupal. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If, if you wanna have access to the rest of the beginning Drupal 8 tutorial series right now before it's released on YouTube, you can head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase this series or you can subscribe to be a Level Up Pro and have instant early access to all of the Drupal 8 tutorials videos. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.